Um, this is the Akai S950. It's a classic 90s sampler used in lots of drum and bass and hip hop. Um, it's 12 bit, super crunchy. I'm just going to show you how to use it. Turn it on, and it's got a disk in here, and it's loading up a bunch of programs that we've already sampled things into. It's uh, nice and slow. Okay, so once it's loaded up, you're in this programs uh, screen, which you can get to by hitting the play button. Um, there's a number of different programs here, which you can see by scrolling through with this control wheel. Um, you pick the one you want, it's got a number next to it, so this here, OB6 program is 7, so we hit the number 7, and now... Or if we want to choose a different one... There we've got a Jupiter... Um, yeah, so that's how you play a sound. Uh, it's got MIDI inputs on the back, so you can use your door or um, any sequencer that you've got, or a MIDI keyboard. We're just using the dark time here. If you want to record into it, go into record mode. Um, you can name your sample, use these page up and down buttons to go through the different sampling options. Um, we're going to sample into the audio, the analog input on the front here. Um, there's a level for your record level. Um, you can see, uh, you can choose your bandwidth. If you want something kind of crunchy, um, you might want to go for like, uh, set it to 3000 hertz, which is its lowest setting. Um, sample time. Um, and then the pitch of the sound that you're recording because it's going to be able to pitch up and down. So we'll just go with C3 to begin with. Um, and then you can make it... I use uh, this audio level. Um, so you just sort of kind of set a threshold. Um, and so here's your threshold level there with a T. So we'll play a C on this Smoke Voyager. It's a bit hot. So you want something getting close to the top of the level there. Now to sample, just hit enter. It's waiting for audio. And... Cool, and we've sampled. So now we can play it back with this PB button. Um, and... So now we can save that if we want. So go into edit program, make yourself a new program. To name it, you press this letter button here and then you can scroll through, call it whatever you want. Um, we're going to call this Moog3. Hit enter. And then you can go down through here, pick the sample that you want. Um, we're going to use that one that we just recorded called Tone. There it is. Now it's playing back. Um, you can also, the, the filter is quite cool in this, so you can go into these filter settings here and edit that. Um, 